I'm joined by Tanya Anderson. Uh, Lovely Greens is her YouTube channel and it's a success to say the least all around the world. Tanya, you've got how many people following you and, and I should say what you do, you know, you do all this gardening stuff. I, mean. I do. So I actually, I have a website and I have a YouTube channel and they're both called Lovely Greens. Uh, the YouTube channel though, I've been putting a lot more focus on video recently. And I have over 27,000 subscribers, but wow. it's, it's growing. Yeah, That's so, fantastic. Though. Yeah. From nothing. I mean, how do you go about building this? I mean, you're becoming a vlogger. Yeah. Are you a vlogger? Can you describe yourself as a vlogger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm perfectly fine being called a vlogger. <laughs> I think uh, more younger people are excited about the idea of being a professional vlogger. My, my neighbors, <laughs> kids were like, oh my gosh, YouTuber. Yes, their generation. Yeah. Well, I started off traditional blogging on my website, lovelygreens.com. And then I decided about four years ago that I would start making videos. So kind of um, focusing on some DIY projects and I put them up on YouTube. They kind of sat there. I didn't really check YouTube very often. And then before I knew it, it had exploded and I have a video up there, one of my first ones that has over 2 million views on it two now. 2 million. Yeah. And, and YouTube themselves picked up on you, didn't they? They did, yes. So, Tell us about that. Yeah, I, I received an award last year from YouTube and I went down to their London office for a week where they trained me up a bit more and, and uh, really helped me out with giving me some insight as to how it all works. Can't your hot, hot desk around the world now with them or something? You can, you got, <laughs> you're an, you've got access to YouTube <laughs> buildings, I believe, isn't it? Some of that? Well, yeah, actually, you know, anyone who has over 10,000 subscribers on YouTube has access oh. to YouTube facilities. So green screens and yeah. equipment and uh, a one-on-one -on -one kind of representative that can help you along the way. Okay, well, there's general pieces on your site about making your gardens green, I mean, yes. vegetables, doing that sort of thing. Yeah, so my focus is completely on gardening, so organic vegetable gardening and DIY. Right. And so I feature a lot on my own garden and then also other people's gardens, which I started to do more this year. And this is where we come to the sort of reason that made you a quite unique a little event you had in Jerby of all places. Yes. Tell us about that. Yes. Well, some years ago, I went to a small kind of horticultural show up in Solby, and I noticed that some of the entries were from the prison. And I was dumbfounded by this. The prison was, and, and they were winning lots of awards. Yeah. So finally, roll on four more years, and I was, I got entry into where they're growing the vegetables. And I wanted to understand the story. What are they doing there? What is the, the objective, the point of it? And I got to not only find out firsthand, but I produced a video, which is on my YouTube channel, that shows the gardens. And I have an interview with Bob McComb, who's the governor, just to kind of understand the, the principles. Yeah, I saw it years ago when it was just very early days, but it's, it's quite yeah. a big operation now, isn't it? I mean, they've got all the poly thingies and whatever, haven't they? They have two main growing areas and two poly tunnels, and they're separated areas, yeah. And this year, they were so productive that they actually stopped buying in fruit and veg wow. for the kitchens. And that is saying a lot because they're feeding um, about 100 prisoners and the staff. So that was, um, it was incredible. And I got to see firsthand, you know, the peppers coming out of the, the poly tunnel, the beautiful tomatoes, and then learning about the therapeutic side of this. So understanding the prisoners actually put together these gardens themselves. They scraped it together through donations and uh, seeds that they, you know, whatever way they can get them. One gets uh, seeds from a magazine that they have a subscription to. The prison officers bring in seeds for them. But it has given them a bit of focus. It is geared towards rehabilitation and resettlement. All of the prisoners that are in Derby will one day be out here living amongst us again, our neighbors. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, we've had a clip, uh, the yeah. full thing again on your channel, which yes. is? Lovely. Uh, Lovely Greens. So youtube.com slash go? Lovely Greens. Should you go to .com or go straight to YouTube? Which do you like Just go do? straight to YouTube if you want. Yeah. But I mean, you just pop in Lovely Greens in Google and you'll find all kinds of links to me. And by chance, everyone's got a nice garden that you'd like to have a look at. You know, oh, yeah. People might be watching and saying, oh, come and look at my what I do. I'm really interested in showing things that will inspire not only the individuals with small gardens, but also within the Isle of Man community. So things that we might not hear stories about that have to do with growing your own green eco stories that can serve our community. And has the Isle of Man got a good story to tell? Uh, you know, there's good the, yeah, things going on out there. There is, but it's finding them 
and convincing people to come on my YouTube channel. Yeah, well, <laughs> millions and millions of viewers. Why wouldn't you? Thank you for joining us. And uh, anytime, feel free to join us again. Thank you so much, Paul. <laughs>